Hi there everyone, welcome to yet again another Minecraft tutorial video here on the channel. And within this video, I'm going to show you something pretty useful, I think. In one of our previous videos, we looked at custom enchantments on items like this diamond axe right here. And I showed you how to apply custom enchantments to any item and spawn them in and so on. But this video is slightly different. We're going to be focusing on enchanted books in this video. So how do we give and spawn enchanted books with custom enchantments attached? So I'm going to be showing you how you can use commands in order to do that. Now, another reason for doing this tutorial is if you are not aware, in Minecraft 1.20.5 and above, Minecraft have changed how data is set and stored for blocks and items. So there are no there are now new data components that are actually assigned to items in particular and this does affect stuff like enchantments and enchanted books so what we're actually going to be using here is we're going to be using a stored enchantments data component that's the full name for it but it's actually slightly different to the items so we have to use stored enchantments and not the normal enchantments data component we used in that tutorial. So it will become, it will make sense when we get around to it. But we have uh, two examples right here. We have um, this command block, which gives the enchanted book to us straight away. So as you will see here, this is quite a meaty enchanted book. We have level 10 of sharpness, smite, sweeping edge, fire aspect, looting, swift sneak, and unbreaking. So in that instance, we gave the enchanted book directly. And in this one, we actually generate the item entity or the item, which we can then pick up. And this is exactly the same item. So. In order to do this, as I say, we have to provide a data component to get this to work. Now, I'm in Minecraft 1.20.6 at the moment, but it should work in 1.20.5 as well. And hopefully this command won't change a lot in future versions of Minecraft. But I'm going to show you now in more detail in a text editor so I can show you it easier and I can show you how it's actually working. All right, everyone, these are the two commands I'm using in this tutorial. So these commands will be in the description of the video, so you can copy and paste it into your Minecraft and so on. But this first command, it just directly gives the enchanted book to the player. This second one right here actually generates the item entity of the enchanted book where we add custom enchantments. But in the first one right here, we have a slash give command with our username and we're doing minecraft colon enchanted book which is the id we need for an enchanted book and in the new syntax that we have to use in minecraft 1.20.5 and above we have to use the square brackets to assign data components so we have square brackets and then we start a stored enchantments data component so this should now make sense with what I was saying earlier. And we then do equals. And then this bit right here is basically a levels dictionary that gets assigned to the enchantments. So we have levels right here. And then each of these entries right here is for each specific type of enchantment. So we have sharpness, we have fire aspect, we have smite and so on. So it's basically a full list. And after each enchantment ID, we have a number. And this number specifies what level of the enchantment should be provided. So that's how that works. And that's how you assign it to the stored enchantments component. Now, the item entity command is very, very similar. But um, we do slash summon Minecraft colon item as an item entity. These are just relative coordinates that spawns the item entity two blocks above the command block. So you can set this to whatever you want. We then start an item data tag so that we can assign item data. We then set the ID to Minecraft colon enchanted book again. 
we are set we assign count one so that we have one item in the stack when we're actually generating this item entity. And then we have components. So we have a components data tag where we actually put the stored enchantments. So you can see here we have Minecraft colon stored enchantments again. And then we have exactly the same levels dictionary we used above here. So this is exactly the same format, no, not different at all with comparison to what's in the first command. And that is basically it. So that those are the two ways to you know, give and spawn or generate a custom enchanted book. So hopefully this has helped you out and given you some more knowledge on this area. All right, everyone, thank you for watching this video right here. If this did help you out and you learned some more about enchanted books, then a like, subscribe on the video would be very much appreciated. And make sure that you hit notification bell to stay notified of any future videos here on the channel. And if you want to follow my socials, they're on screen and in the description. And if you have any other tutorials you want me to do, whether it's tutorial, just general tutorials, command blocks, redstone, that sort of thing, let me know in the comments and I may do it in a future video. And I hope to do some more videos soon and stay happy and healthy, everyone. Hopefully you have a nice day. See you in the next video.